Good morning! Good morning, everyone! Welcome to your first official day of Step Into 22! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Good morning and happy January! Happy 2022! Ever since 2020, I've had the hardest time saying 2021, 2022. I feel like I have to like chew on those words. They're so big. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday. It's so good to be back with you today. Taking breaks can be hard. Sometimes it's hard to walk away from things, especially when it's something you love so much. Like for me, posting videos on this channel, but we need to find that balance in our lives. It's important to take rest in every area of our life, rest days, work. Just make sure that you're taking care of yourself, okay? healthy lifestyle, which is a beautiful way to introduce you to the Step Into 22 challenge, baby. Ironically enough, I have been trying to get a little bit better, actually start going to some very early morning workout classes, which is my little way of quite literally stepping my day off on the right foot. I tried too hard for that one. Starting the day off on the right foot, Stepping my way off on the right foot. Let's grab the world's best workout socks. Aha. Uh -huh. Also grabbing our fabulous water bottle. Da -da -da -da. And I'm just gonna be taking you through my day today as I show you what my first day as a step into 20 tour is like. I'm also going to be using the sponsor for today's video to help me do that, which is LifeSum. I'll be talking more about LifeSum throughout the rest of the video. Stay tuned on everything that LifeSum entails. I'm going to be using it as a very helpful tracking system, how I can set these sustainable goals for not just January, not just 2022, but for the rest of my life. Also how we could be tracking some of our movement for 7 to 22 in the LifeSum app. Our water, our food, our protein intake, that's where Taylor comes into the picture, and it's gonna be absolutely fabulous. But I must run, because I hate being late. I hate being late, especially to workout classes. I get there so stinking early, because I get so paranoid, and I don't wanna ever be disrespectful to the instructor. I like wanna be that perfect student. That's the funniest thing about me. I'm always gonna wanna be a student, at the very back of my mind, so I feel like I always have to do well in the eyes of the instructor, which is like the cheesy teacher's pet in me. And I don't even care, because I love it. <laughs> I always have the hardest time waking up in the morning. But ever since I slowly started trying to transition myself to be a better morning person, I haven't had that bad of a problem. I'm not that tired right now because I leave my phone in the kitchen. And I swear, like, maybe that was the missing link this whole stinking time. But I'm not that... I'm not in a bad mood, you know what I mean? The whole reason I tried to get myself to wake up earlier was because of my big road trip. I wanted to not be tired on the road. I knew I had to wake up early. So for the week or two prior, I would wake up maybe one hour or 30 minutes earlier every single day. And I would leave my phone intentionally in the kitchen so I wouldn't have it next to me, on my wrist, anything to snooze my alarms. And I actually had to get out of bed and forcefully like walk myself to turn off the alarm because it was so loud and annoying. But since it's in the kitchen, I'm not laying on it late at night. I'm not letting my mind wander and then scrolling on my phone. Like it's just, it's not even a possibility because I can't. So I think I genuinely wake up a lot more rested. And it's that thing that everybody screams at you and you never listen, but here we are. Oh my God. <laughs> She said no. Also, I know I'm gonna hear it, but these decorations will likely stay up for <laughs> the next two months. Last year, I think I let Keith convince me to save them. I think until March, especially with like the state of the world, I, I need a little bit of joy in my house. I love the lights. I love the ambiance it gives. The trees, the ornaments, the stockings. It's not going anywhere soon. That workout kicked my little booty. I always love the combination of a little bit of cardio, but also with some barbell work, and that was on the menu today, so that made me extraordinarily happy. I also feel like when I go to the gym, I normally just do very traditional strength training, like drop, reset, deadlifts, and squats. <laughs> but what I love about going to workout classes is that you definitely get pushed outside of your comfort zone. And today we did hang cleans, which I would never normally incorporate into my own personal routine because I don't ever think that way. But it's like a fun way to kind of get a little bit outside your comfort zone. And let's face it, it was a very early morning class. I needed the encouragement of the people around me, my teammates, if you will. And sometimes that's a really good way to keep yourself consistent is setting up for classes 
we all know the penalty fee gets our booty and gear, but also knowing that there is a community right there behind you and that they can support you and help you. Or even if you just feel like I can't possibly last these last 10 seconds of this clock, you kind of look around and you feel this camaraderie and it helps you get through the pain. I think I'm gonna straighten my hair. I can't figure out how in the heck to style this. It's not my day right now. It's not my day. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls love skincare. I always think back to the days when I barely wore any skincare. Like, this is a dangerous thing to say on the internet. I used to never wear sunscreen. I know, I know, I'm the worst human being. I would basically like moisturize and wash my face, which isn't a bad thing. But giving your skin like a little bit of more extra gentle love, it's gorgeous. Obviously, I'm nowhere from perfect. I rarely have a perfect skincare routine or any routine in my life, but I really feel like one of the best things I learned in 2021 is the beauty and the power of balance. And I'm not understating those words. I don't know what I mean, but those words are important. Balance is important. I think previously I would look at something like a new year's resolution and I would think, okay, in December, I'm just gonna totally let myself go and not take care of myself. And then come January, I'm a new woman. I'm doing a complete 180. And it's kind of sad it took me so long to recognize how unsustainable that is. And also it's like doing a disservice to myself. I'm letting myself down by feeling like I have to change into this completely different woman in like two weeks time. Now I look at things like New Year's resolutions, January, the change of the year. I look at that as a time to feel inspired, like maybe to kind of reevaluate where I am with my goals, to create new goals, but goals that are realistic sustainable and also goals that don't feel like you have to completely dismantle and restructure your life to get them done. Simply one of the best sounds in this beautiful, beautiful world. I am drinking decaf though, because I'm still on my journey of not having caffeine too late in the day. I think that's definitely not a helpful thing for when I'm trying to go to sleep at a reasonable hour. So decaffeination it is. And even then I get a little bit worried because I, I'm pretty sure there's still caffeine even in decaffeinated coffee. Like they can't fully get all the caffeine out, which is a little bit suspicious. <laughs> okay, for breakfast, we're gonna be taking a recipe from the LifeSum app that I have been dying to try. It is their chocolate tofu mousse. And I'm kind of taking it as like my version of the protein yogurt, but adding in tofu in replacement of the yogurt. I can't even tell you how excited I am and so beyond intrigued because sometimes you think chocolate, tofu, and mousse, and then naturally you might say, hmm, little bit, not sure how well those go together, but life some proves that wrong. Venturing to the refrigerator. We need you, Mr. Tofu. Oh my golly, it's freezing cold. Also, some maple syrup. This is 100% pure maple syrup. Very respectable thing. I'm also gonna grab Broma, which this is me adding my own little twist, twisty tay over here to the recipe because it calls for dark chocolate. And I think that this would be a little bit more fun. And I don't have dark chocolate. So, a two in one. And last but not least, some berries, baby. We're getting out the trusty blender. You guys remember when I used to have that old, really horrible blender and nothing, nothing would blend. I could sit here for days and I would just be stirring it and stirring it with no success. It pays to invest in your health. Okay, so the recipe that I'm following is available on the premium version of LifeSum. The app is filled with this incredible database of the most delicious recipes I think I've ever seen in my life. And they're not just like your basic average recipe. Like it's chocolate tofu mousse. Like this stuff is cool, but it's also not entirely complicated to make, which is usually a big problem of mine. Everything looks way too fancy for me to ever recreate, but these are attainable and very sustainable when we're living that healthy lifestyle. Look at this block of tofu. I'm gonna break it up just a tad because my blender is good but it's not that good. You ever seen a blender full of tofu? Cause I haven't. It's kind of cool because I've been using LifeSum for so many years and the fact that I get to work with them is absolutely spectacular. And their mission as an app is to become like your digital self-care app. 
It's like your one-stop shop for tracking all of your amazing goals, all of the incredible foods that you can nourish your body with, your habits, like step into 22. And especially for me right now, one of the best things that I love about the app is the macro tracking because I'm on my journey of trying to increase my protein intake. So being able to track my macros, plus being able to have recipes like this available in the recipe bank, is absolutely fantastic. The app is free to download, but the premium features are just that. They are premium. They're absolutely spectacular. So with the free version, you can kind of like peek your toe in the door, but unlocking that premium version, mm -mm. And I love that the app is not just focused on numbers, but really taking a holistic approach to your health and fitness lifestyle. All right, let's blend this up, baby. Should I do a spread? That sounds kind of like a mousse, right? Er <laughs> Okay, this is blowing my mind right now. That is so funny. We're adding in the Broma, in my case, like the replacement of the dark chocolate and the maple syrup. Every time I say syrup on camera, I get self-conscious if I'm saying it wrong. I think it's four tablespoons. Goodness gracious, God bless this recipe, life some. Mm -mm -mm. You know, if I accidentally dunk a little bit more maple syrup, I'll only be happy. I need five ounces. It's a lot of ounces. Everything just fell into this middle hole. And it looks like one of those like molten lava cakes. I'm so excited and so beyond curious. That's actually good. <laughs> wow, wait, moose is the perfect word for it. I was kind of cheating. I was taking a small taste test, but I need to finish. <laughs> okay, I already snuck my first few bites, but Let's give her a gander. Mm, it's actually warm from the blender, which is so funny, but it tastes almost identical to my usual famous, I'm just kidding, protein yogurt. Like what a fun recipe. This is so cute. And now I get to do one of my favorite things and sit in front of the window, maybe get my happy lamp, eat my food. One of the best things I've learned that I can do for myself and my healthy lifestyle routine is finding like these little easy ways to integrate healthy habits without having to stress about it or plan things out, but just making it seamless and also just making it fun and joyful. And that's such an important lesson because this is your life and it's not meant to be perfect. It's not meant to be a quick fix, but when you build these like sustainable habits for yourself, it's so much easier to stay in that healthy lifestyle and balanced mindset. I can do that so seamlessly with the help of the LifeSum app. And I love all of the incredible habit tracking features that they have. With the premium account, it actually automatically tracks your exercise. So you're stepping into 22, you don't even have to worry about inputting it. It gets that workout all added in, it gets those steps. As I mentioned, getting in a lot of protein is one of my main goals right now. I'm really just trying to build more muscle. I also am just lifting a lot more in the gym and it's very important to be taking care of myself in that way and making sure that I'm properly fueling my body post-workouts. So the best way that I can do that is making sure that I'm actually tracking it and not just arbitrarily remembering, remembering how much protein I've eaten for the day. The easy thing about having these recipes is that you can just instantly add them to your intake for the day. However, since I also added in my Broma, I need to individually find that in the database. Broma. And I added in a lot. And now I have my actual protein intake. It's just really nice to be able to look back on throughout the rest of the day. Sometimes I'm not very good. I don't plan my meals out that far in advance, but LifeSum just has me covered because then it's not all this mental cartwheels. They just have all this amazing data inside the app. Just so beautiful, waiting for me to use. Every day, I just want to continually improve myself. Just one little bit. So I'm living this healthy, beautiful lifestyle, setting these sustainable goals for myself, increasing my protein, getting in more movement. So then Taylor, 50 years down the line, can have the best day of her life playing with her grandkids on the swing set. Like, yes, it's for me, but at the same time, it's also for everybody around me. The children I hopefully have, the grandkids I hopefully have, God willing, and just seamlessly live this joyful, healthy lifestyle. If you'd like to try recipes like this, if you want to use that macro feature, those are two things that you unlock with the premium account. So I will have two links in my description box, one link to download the free version of LifeSum and another link to get the premium version of the app. 
And just because you're all such lovely human beings, LifeSum is offering a 50% discount throughout the month of January on the premium subscription. So in my description box, there's actually this like really cute link that goes to my personal landing page. It's got my name on it, a fun little bio. It's actually really stinking fun. You'll find all the good information on that amazing landing page when you click the link in my description box below. Excuse me, little Miss Reese. Would you like to go outside? Oh, was that a yes? You wanna go for a little walk? Come on, let's go. Let's go outside right now. Good girl, let's go. Slow poke. Ready? Oh, big stretch. All right, let's go. Let's go on our little walk. I heard this ideology from my old personal trainer. So sad we're not working together anymore. But she basically said that when her dog needs to go outside and needs to get exercised, it's the time for the dog. It's not about her trying to get in her steps for the day. It's not about exercise. It's not all about her, but really taking care of your animal and being a good pet mom. And I loved that because I think sometimes I don't do that. I say, Reese, let's go on a walk because I want to go for a walk, but it should be her first and supplementary. I'm also getting in my steps, but I'm taking care of her first and foremost. And if I need additional steps or I want to go on my own fast paced walk or something or slow pace, whatever, then I'll do it on my own time apart from making her exercise and her necessary movement about me. And I just thought that was really special and I wanted to share. Hopefully it's not freezing cold outside, but I think it might be. Good thing you've got a fur coat. She's all prepared. <laughs> so Reese does this thing where she goes outside and she can't go number two right away. She has to really mull it over. And I genuinely have to know if other dogs do this because Keith and I used to get so frustrated with it. I've come to terms with it. Like she's gonna, she needs her time. She needs a newspaper or something. But I need to know if there's any other dogs that do this because every dog I've met walks outside and goes right away. I have the weird one. It is a beautiful cloudy day. She'll be stepping into 22. She takes the lead. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to start wearing beanies, gloves, mittens on my daily walks because my hands are getting frozen from holding the leash and the temperatures are dropping. At a rapid rate. Do they tell you that January is going to be like this? I am ill prepared. <laughs> and I look like Darth Vader. Okay, this is true. Seven to 22. <sighs> With Reese and three packages. Look at my cheeks. Oh my golly. Was this done? Maybe a little bit. This is me going on my walk, my little walk summary. And boom, look at this. In the Life Sum app, We've got our morning workout from today, our walking, and then just general steps and everything. That's pretty stinking cool. And it tracks that all on its own, automatically. Didn't touch a thing. Mindless, seamless. It is truly going to be such a stinking fun month together. Not even a fun month, a fun year. I mean, this is going into my second full year as a YouTuber, which is the weirdest stinking thing. And I'm just so grateful for every single one of you and for having me as a part of some little moment in your life. And I'm also so stinking happy that we're gonna be stepping into 22 together. I really was debating whether or not this was like the right time to do this challenge because I didn't want it to seem like it was only New Year's resolution oriented because really this is about our lives and this is just meant to inspire some more daily joyful movement. And that means every day, not just January, not just January 2nd, but every day. It's so much fun because it's the fitness challenge with no rules. There's no way to go about it correctly because any way that you do it is the right way. And I hope that you'll join me in doing so. If you have any posts that you want to share, make sure that you use the hashtag, hashtag step into 22. You can also tag me on Instagram and you can now follow the do -do 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 official step into 22 Instagram. I'm so stinking excited about this. This is going to be like your one-stop shop for everything step into 22. If you tag me in this, if you use the hashtag, I'll be reposting all of your things to the feed, the stories, everything. I want this to be like as community based and as fun as possible. It's a place to hold you accountable. It's a place to meet new people, follow fellow people who are also doing the challenge, have a discourse in the comment section. It's gonna be so stinking fun. So make sure that you follow that Instagram account and that you get yourself pumped up for step into 22 because I'm freaking sweaty from walking up those stairs with all my packages. And that was a little bit dramatic. You don't have to do that. <laughs> but just find little ways to move a little bit more in your everyday life. 
And that's, that's you. That's you stepping in 22, baby. I love you all so stinking much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited for this new year together. And thank you again to LifeSum for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, I will have those two links in my description box. One link to download the free version of LifeSum and another link that will help you download the premium subscription of LifeSum, which is 50% off for the entire month of January. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Step into 22! Yeah.